and here of course we are in the skills lab and we have all the skills to which you are required to be proficient with. This is your ophthalmology station here and you guys are today going to be looking into the eyes. So you'll have to concentrate on the pupils here because the light passes through the pupils. And then it is the posterior chamber and then it passes through the lens and then the posterior segment where you have the vitreous. And then behind it is the retina. The light basically passes through all these layers. These layers must be clear enough so that that light can go. What you intend to do is uh, to focus the light on the pupils. Naturally, the light is then going to go into the pupils and to the retina. So, do you want to come and start? Oh, wow. You did look at the retina, didn't you? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I love it. Okay. Okay, so what did you see? I saw the retina. So the retina? Yes. What did you see in the retina? The retina, I saw blood vessels. You saw blood vessels? Yes. Central yes. artery of the retina? Okay, so why would we want to see this central artery of the retina? Because it's the only branches of artery that you can, we can visually see with our naked eyes. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Really, <laughs> that's true, isn't it? As the only artery we can see through our naked eyes. Can we see any other arteries in our body? No, so what do you uh, take home as a message from this one? I mean, if there was a pathology with the uh, arteries that you can't see, you would probably be able to visualize in your eyes. Well, very good. So if there is edema in that place, what does it tell you then? If you can't see the arteries clearly, what is that condition called? Anybody you know? Edema. Very good, okay, good, good. So you're happy that you'll have seen the central artery of retina. Yeah. Does it correlate to your uh, anatomy, what you'll have just gone through? Definitely. Yes. An uh, ultrasound image is obtained using sounds. We allow you students to use the ultrasound sounds to enhance your knowledge of anatomy. So, take a deep breath and hold it. So the top of the image is consistent with the abdominal wall. So we have the anechoic image there. I'm gonna use these two fingers to help retract the catheter, all right? For instance, let's say we're gonna use this vein, okay? We clean the area in a circular motion, all right? Mm -hmm. Once you have done so, dispose, release, and retract, okay? Now, once you have done so, you wanna make sure you release the tourniquet, all right? And you place it on top. Once you have it on top, this is one time that you can release it, all right? Hold it in place, and make your butterfly.